Morocco has been taking solid steps to apply its development strategy to improve its economic growth and presence in regional markets. The success of these projects, driven by the energy and health sectors, has made Morocco a model to follow. We're in Casablanca, the economic capital of the kingdom, to meet some of the businesses at the forefront. To accompany these private firms in their activities across the continent, Morocco Export has launched a project in collaboration with the African Development Bank. Electricity infrastructure supplier Fabrilac is one firm that's benefited from the tie-up. It's put up to 800 kilometers of power lines in Burkina Faso. The firm's CEO believes shared cultural links are the secret to its success. Business in Africa is an adventure. And I think that with our culture, which is much closer, we stand a much better chance of picking up business. We are able to adapt better than some others. Our construction project consists of making the studies and providing supplies. We frequently use Moroccan-made goods, cables, supports and transformers, because Moroccan products are good and competitive. Such high-quality material can be found, among others, at Energy Transfo, which has been making electrical supplies for nearly half a century. Like Fabrilec, it too recently won a Great Africa Award for its work highlighting Made in Morocco across the continent. The firm is certified by all of Morocco's energy distributors and has been exporting its goods across Africa since 2010. The electricity sector has experienced strong growth in Morocco, which has allowed the industry to develop beyond its borders today. We have a wide range of industrial firms that make a multitude of electrical material, and that's what enables our African clients to come here and satisfy their needs. When they come here, our clients can project themselves into the future. They can say, if Morocco has succeeded in developing its industry, then why can't we? By pushing the exports to Africa of national products, Morocco is also emerging as a big player in the health market, pharmaceuticals in particular. Cooper Pharma, one of the country's oldest firms, is breaking new ground by going east to Rwanda, where it plans to build a factory. The firm's CEO says investing in Africa gives the continent a chance to develop and, for the firm, a chance to have a positive impact on people's lives. There can be no economical and social development without investment in healthcare. So as pharmaceutical companies, we do participate towards that end. This is materializing by job creation, by direct foreign direct investment, by local accessibility, availability of drugs, by lower pricing, more accessibility of uh, drugs, and also by training a, a pool of qualified people because our pharma industry requires higher international norms in terms of quality.